Outstanding. I have, to, I have to also say that when I look back at this day, I think my favorite part has been the students and the involvement of the students, including in this session. So let's get going. So it's been great having you guys. And I don't want to say you were well behaved, but it's just been great having you. <laughs> I think everybody will appreciate it. The way you got involved in the safety clinic and everything. So I'm serious about saying how much we appreciate you. Also, to uh, the, the Normal Side High School College Preparatory High School, let's give the school a hand. <laughs> All of our great team, uh, the National Council of Youth Sports Safety, but the involvement of people with the panels. Uh, and some really outstanding participants here in Chicago who joined our various uh, panels and work groups. So this has been special. I've had a lot of special experiences in Chicago throughout my career, and this today has certainly been wonderful. So thank you very much. Well, uh, if you haven't heard this before, we are on a tour throughout the country. This is our third stop here in Chicago. We did Atlanta in January and Los Angeles in February. I think we're in Columbus next. I know we go to Dallas, Pensacola, Florida. It's all over. We will have made at least 11 stops. And the real question is, how can we define <coughs> the best practices and policies in order to, on the one hand, encourage physical activity and encourage team sports, but at the same time to do everything we can to make it as safe <laughs> as possible. That's our goal. Uh, and we believe that's doable. We believe that it is possible to continue to decrease uh, the number of brain injuries. And that's what we're talking about when we talk about concussions. We're talking about the brain. Well, the brain is a very important organ in the body. I, I think it's the most important. It is delicate on the one hand. On the other hand, the brain is commanding. It is the command center. And we have to do everything we can to take care of it. We know, for example, that kids who are physically active and engaged in good nutrition learn better. Their brain functions better. Their circulation is better. So there are a lot of positive things that go with physical activity and good nutrition, but there's also a reason to be concerned when uh, we have injury to the brain. Sometimes not just career ending, but uh, not just sports career injury, but in some cases uh, significantly uh, diminishing prospects for the future. So we've got to do everything we can to take care of our brain. So I hope you will continue to work with us so that when this process is over, we will have truly define best practices and best policies, but also motivated people by changing the culture, changing attitude, creating what we call a culture of prevention. Now, I know there are a lot of ways you could have spent last night and today. Some of you, I know there are a lot of ways you could spend the day. I think you spent time well spent. Uh, last night after my uh, remarks, I ended with one of my favorite poems, which I heard over and over again when I was a student at Morehouse from Dr. Benjamin Mays. He didn't write it, nobody knows who wrote it. It's called God's Minute, and I'm gonna end today uh, again thanking you, but also end with this, uh, this poem. It says, I have only just a minute, only 60 seconds in it, forced upon me, can't refuse it, I didn't seek it, didn't choose it, yet it's up to me to use it. I must suffer if I lose it, give account if I abuse it, just a tiny little minute, and yet eternity is in it. That's called God's minute. Thank you.